What is up, everybody? I'm Mike. I'm Luke. Today, we are checking out the Zoro and Sanji starter deck. Starter deck 12? 14? Uh, that's 12? it. What does it say? 12! 12! We have, of course, the most broken card to come to One Piece. Yep. Uh, fall down D stairs. <laughs> uh, coming at you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so we're going to take a look at every card in the set, uh, talking about them in case you don't know about them, and talking about uh, how they may or may not affect uh, your upcoming uh, you 06 format. Say that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> she's dead, Luke. Oh my god, she's. Of course, the leader of this deck is a new dual color four life leader, Roronora Zoro and Sanji, our first tag team leader. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, really interesting. I hope they do more of this in the. I hope they get. I thought this was gonna be like year three. Oh, I yeah. really thought it was gonna be like year three. I like, hope we get right, a Nami and Usopp. I hope we get that. I'd be like the raid, right? You're Probably so raid, Nami yeah. and Usopp. I like uh -huh. that. That's uh, fine. What? Which one would I like the most? Um, let me think on that for a minute. Yeah. That was the edit I was going to do. Now I'm just going to pump in your yeah, audio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really. <laughs> I have to root, root for the one they already set up. Oh. It's already set up in the extra booster. I need Brook Laboon Leader. Obviously, it can't happen until he sees him again, but I want Brook Laboon Leader. I need like zoom buttons on my face. Yeah. As you said that, because. 5k leader, no more Red yeah, we're shenanigans. about the training card game. Yeah, no more <laughs> Red Purple Libby shenanigans. Uh, one Dawn on this leader. When attacking once per turn, you may return one of your characters with a cost of two or more to the owner's hand as a cost. Mm -hmm. Can't choose not to. Uh, yep. Set up to one of your characters with 7,000 power or less as active. What do you I mean, think? You could choose zero and then not get the rest. <laughs> I, I will play Red Uda then. I'll play Red Uda. What's the point? I have one more life. I just played Red the Uda. Point, the point is you're swinging with six done. Or six done. Six attack. I can do the same thing with Uda with five life. Uh, so I'll play Red Uda instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway. I think this is an interesting leader. Uh -huh. I This is going to sound like really spikish. Like really like, oh, he's a cop player who doesn't care about fun, right? This leader would have been so much better to play with and play around like two sets ago <laughs> than it is now. Like we have just got to a place where just like, we are so out of control on the power levels. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying this knowing it just like took an event in in uh, in Japan yeah. with uh, basically like uh, Whitebeard's son. What's his name again? Uh, when Weevil. Weevil, a Weevil like deck uh, as like a great value engine. Weevil, you get yeah, Weevil Newgate. Yeah. Um, and I think that's super cool, and I want to try that deck, and I want to try some things with this in this format. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, I think it's just hard to stick the threats that matter. Uh, and I think, like, the best thing you can do off the top of my head is have your Natty 7K. So, like, you don't play this card anymore. Mm -hmm. But, like, use this Captain Kid block for seven. Like, and just, like, swing, swing again with it, yeah. and then unrest it again, right? Yeah. But I don't know. It, it requires two cards, right? Mm -hmm. And the good thing is, you're going to be able to recycle utility characters, mm -hmm. which is great. And most of the utility characters yeah. are 2Ks. Yeah. So, I'm excited for this card. I think the general power level of this card is pretty mid and is more dependent on the card pool. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it's in blue, unfortunately, puts it down for me. The green side of this looking great. However, yeah. the fact that it's blue makes it on for life. And yeah. so the blue needs to justify something for me. And outside of uh, Thousand Worlds, it isn't doing that for me right now. I mean, who knows? Like with 07, like maybe those blue cards might actually help it. Which would be great. Who knows? Um, but you know, off the face, it's like, I would have loved, I would have jammed the mm -hmm. shit out of this card, like two sets ago. Yeah. And now I'm like, maybe I'll get to it, you know? Yeah. I'll assume it. It 100% it, it feels like a maybe I'll get to a card. I mean, it feels like, this is on the higher end of starter deck leaders. Yeah. I will say, right? Not, I will put premium aside because premium is meant yeah, to yeah. like something in premium but is supposed I mean, to go like, into competitive. In comparison to the things that we've gotten, like like right. Shanks. Better than like Shanks. Black Luffy. I think it's better than Red Luffy. Oh, yeah. I think it's better than Red Luffy. Okay. Uh, just, I, mean, I, I think guess, Red Luffy yeah. was better when it was just set one and set two, right? Because mm -hmm. mechanically it was better like yeah, yeah, to yeah. abuse some things there. Right. I think like if you, I think this card would have been better in set one though. Than oh yeah, Red Luffy would have been. Oh yeah. Um, I think it's better than one of the other ones, Sakazuki Black. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is better than Yellow Big Mom, honestly, because the card pool is what makes her better. And if you're talking about the card pool, they can use the cat, right? Like it's just worse. Yes. Like this one, this would aggro it out of Big Mom. I can see this deck easily aggro My out brain out of, like, says yes. My heart wants to strangle no. you. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's a little better of a starter deck leader. Oh. I think it's, uh, you know, I think Blue needs to step up, and I think it is stepping up soon in 07. So yeah. and Eevee even too. God, so, I hope it's not Cope. I hope it's not Cope. I hope 07 Blue is really good. I hope it's like I really want yeah. it to be good. I mean, like, okay, so here's here's the here's the real like between us, man. We're talking about this deck. Yeah. We all know we're just buying this from Mihawks, right? 
Uh, so anyway, car number two, uh, <laughs> down these stairs, uh, also known as Coena, as uh -huh. some of these weebs call her. Uh, 2000 uh, character for three with one, so uh, you can return it to hand uh, with uh, your leader. Mm -hmm. Gets played for free as a trigger roll. That's like the main uh, like real value out of this, why yeah, it's a two for three a instead of a yeah. like a three for three. Uh, activate main, rest this character, rest up to one of your opponent's characters, which cost a four less. So mm -hmm. you can play her, you can remove a, a standard size blocker, mm -hmm. and then return the hand with leader. Yep. So that's pretty, pretty okay. Cool. Uh, it is not East Blue traded. Uh, it is Frost Moon Village, which now that I say that, is Zoro's village in the East Blue? Do we know that? I don't think, I think we don't. Because I don't for know. me, like, the most powerful things in here are the ones that are also East Blue traded. I feel because like, it has the Nami Searcher. I feel like me answering is me gonna get cooked online, so I have no idea. So I'll take, I'll take the bet <laughs> and say he is East Blue, uh, because I don't know, like, Zoro crossed he a multiple seasons. He shows up in the East Blue, right? Yeah, I but mean, he, he, was, he was working as a one, professional. Yeah, one like. day we're gonna get like the, the Sanji The fact that this man's lineage, Zoro, right? what's answered in an SBS, is still the, I don't even Zoro sim. Zoro is not even one of my favorite characters, but I cannot deny the fact that Oda gives all this time and energy to every goddamn character, and then Zoro gets his backstory answered in an SBS is absolutely insane to me. I feel like there's just nothing else to iterate on him with. You know, he's just he's just the strongest guy. He wants to be the strongest, and like having a linear character like that is sometimes okay. I would have rather just like seen uh, uh, the the swordsmith or whoever whoever was the first one to the village. I would have rather seen flashback of him leaving Wano and start like two episodes, like one chapter, oh, like, like leaving like Wano, a, starting the yeah. village and all that stuff. And that's how we're told instead of here is a chart. I low key want all of that to happen and then be told to Zoro and Zoro goes like, so? Like, he's I like, wanted to be like, who? He's, he's just confused. He yeah. didn't follow any of it. No, he doesn't care. He just didn't follow any of it. Like, He's like, you just yeah. named so many people, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. like, and none of them are fighting And right I feel now, like that so. would be, like, so in character for him. Like, they're like, here's the truth about your father. He's like, I don't give a shit. Was he the strongest? The strongest? This card's actually better uh, mm. than it's going to see play. Mm. The problem is just the trading. Um, in combination with the leader, it's pretty good, yeah. but the trading's a problem. But it's Slash, so that's relevant for the deck. Oh, you know Pay what? attention to all Slash cards. Let's, you know what? We should have a screen. Like, let's just be like, does it be buggy? <laughs> This whole deck loses the buggy, I think. I think it maybe, does. Maybe there's like, I I, I know. Uh, does it beat buggy? Is uh, I know Pudding's in here. Uh -huh. She probably beats buggy still. Oh, so yeah, special. is she special? Unless it's her with the gun Wisdom. that she's ranged. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, okay. No, fails. Uh, oh, I fail. Oh, fail. Zero. Fails. Zero. Oh, this is the best card in the deck, though. Yeah, okay, is. this is Dracula Mihawk, uh, a 4K for three, seven warlords, which is a great trait to have, so it's already like, it's already useful outside. 2K counter, mm -hmm. killing it. On play, mm -hmm. you have two or less characters, you play one. Uh, Muggy Kingdom, mm -hmm. bleh, or mm -hmm. slash attribute character, mm -hmm. in an ing, but it costs a four or less other than Dracula Mihawk. Yeah. So, rest it, notably. Yeah. Um, so, it's a good value play. You have to have two or less uh, characters on play. Mm -hmm. So, it's only good in the early game, uh, in mm -hmm. my opinion. I'm yeah. sure you can find ways to make it yeah, in the late yeah. game. But, it, like, in terms of like its value, its value stocks are highest in the early game. Yeah. What makes this card great, in my opinion? Like, high above tier. Mm -hmm. Multiplayer plays relevant things, either a small value, or a big body. So I don't think this like really goes in lol decks, but in theory, this could go in lol decks. You could play this and play uh, the Don, just get a value card, right? Mm -hmm. So you just play two cards in one turn for three and starts, right? Yeah. Um, in Uda is what this was really good. Because right yes. now, Uda, yeah. green film Uda, can only play cards down, right? Yeah. So it can only play seven Luffy to four Brook to uh, something under four Brook, or four Brook to something under. You can play Robin too, I think it's correct. Yeah. Four Brook um, of Mihawk. Right, so you have to go up to multiplay. Yep. This lets you go uh, play it early, and play up from down. Yeah. So you play a 3-4, Yep. you then play a 4-drop, you play Brook, mm -hmm. Brook then plays another film, Yep. and then you play three things for one. Yep. And that, it's also seeing good play in Yamato for the exact same reason. Right, so you get to yep. play all the triggers, yep. most of Wano stuff up slash. Yep. Um, yeah, it, it's just, this card is an all-star utility card. Yeah. And then you just give it one to audience. And it's just numbers are just good. The numbers are just good. It's like, good when it's on the board, and it's good when it's in your hand. Yep. It's never bad to have this card. Three cost 4K is good. It can be buggy, though. <laughs> now, green seven warlords. Not really relevant right now. Not yet. Maybe one day. Then we'll come in and be like, stock, stock, stock. Dude. <laughs> green warlords, and then with the blue warlord stuff that we're getting in 07? Dude, I'm buying two of these decks just to have the play set of those. A thousand percent. Yeah. A thousand percent. No this this card play. is the reason you want to have this deck. This card just is going to be $8 decks. on TCG Player. I Absolutely. Uh, our next one. Uh, does be buggy. It's not Slash's it's, Wisdom. Oh, Why is the monkey with a sword? With a sword? With a sword? <laughs> Why is it 
wisdom though. Of all things, I thought it'd be like strike, like it's punching with the Maybe sword. Maybe because it's wise enough to use tools. I just realized his name was like, it's a pun. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway. It doesn't be buggy. Do we need to tell you how good this card is? Uh, this one's at least a waifu. Yeah. Uh, this one beats buggy. Uh, Both of them buggy. Beats buggy. Uh, four six. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Thriller Bark Pirates in green, which is actually relevant. Yeah. Like that that plays in the Thriller Bark cards yeah, in Perona. Perona. Yeah. So yeah. Yasuku and John. Oh, so there is another split one. So we have two split cards. Yeah. Uh, oh wait, I think there's actually one for Sanji too. I think the, I think there's some cooks. Oh. Uh, so anyway, it's a slash. Yep. Doesn't be buggy. Yep. Uh, three thousand power, two drop, one eight counter. Dawn one one attacking. Choose one. Rest one of your opponent's characters with cost of two or less, or KO up to one of your opponent's resting characters with a cost of two or less. Could beat buggy. Could be buggy. Through KO. Could effect. be buggy. Yeah. Could be. Could be buggy. Could cheat mm -hmm. buggy. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to feel about this card. Uh, this card is weird that you have to invest into it yeah. in one that already requires your leader to be invested to. Mm -hmm. And in theory, you're also going to want to like you, you might not always have a natty 7k. Mm -hmm. So you're going to invest Dawn into making the 7k somewhere right. else. And you have to still play bodies on board to yeah. like keep on turn. So I don't know. It's fine. The fact that it's Slash and East Blue actually is good. Yeah. So I rate this a little bit above the average card just because it's in a it's in an archetype that already exists in the color. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, Rika, I like oh, this art. Rika. It's really nice. Yeah. Uh, zero power, you fucking suck! <laughs> uh, wisdom to drop, 2k counter. In a counter. child fight could beat Otama. Look, it's 1,000, uh, it's 1,000, uh, counter per ball. Two red right balls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 2,000. Yeah, two red right balls. Cost. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if the on-play helps at all. Uh, you may pay two. Uh -huh. If your opponent has three or more life cards, set up to one of your slash type attributes, it costs a four or less as active. So it calls in a friend to beat Otama. I like this one. Yeah. This is good. This is like, this is purely showing you, like Kalina, uh, what's happening when you use this leader. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's technically a four. It's not mm -hmm. a two. Uh, it's really weird. I wish they just made it a four. Mm -hmm. Makes it clearer for people. I don't know if they're worried about discounting or stuff. Um, it would still get in from their effect. So yeah. I, don't, I don't really understand that part. I don't understand but, making, yeah, not making it a four. I, I yeah. Uh, and it's not slash. And like, slash, like, if it, basically, if it's not slash, there's no other, like, attribute that has, like, really abusable cards right now. So mm -hmm. maybe they're just thinking forward. But, um,. You pay four, you rest something, or sorry, you unrest something, only if your opponent's low though. Mm -hmm. So you can't just do it off the red unless your opponent's yep. like a four life leader and took the first damage or whatever, or they just took two right away, mm -hmm. or their white beard. Yeah. Their white beard. Mm -hmm. um, and then you get the reset. So in theory, you could like, because it's about like cost, right? Yeah. So you could have a cost four slash character, mm -hmm. make it seven, restand once with this and once with your leader. Yep. That's pretty good. That's pretty all right. That's pretty, that's like above curve here. Yeah. Uh, no Zoro. Um, I also just like love how we're like we're focusing on like the OGs in their life for the most mm -hmm. part. Again, I think putting's in here. Yeah. But then you have like the current Sanji and Zoro. It's yeah. like I, I wanna see like a dopey East Blue Zoro again. You know? <laughs> right? I miss Bandana Zoro. Yeah, exactly. It's been a while. Uh Dawn one went attacking and there's a four drop, so it counts uh -huh. for uh restanding with her. Yep. Obviously, she gives them the rice balls. Yep. Uh rest up to one of your opponent's <laughs> characters, it costs a six or less. Uh -huh. This card's just good. It's good. Like yeah. Again, I think we're not fighting on board as much these days yeah. in the current format. Yeah. Um, but this is like a card where I'm like, you know, yeah. three sets out. If it's suddenly seeing play, I'm not surprised. Yeah. It passes the numbers checks. It ch it, four for six is good. Yeah. So it's Straw Hat Crew. Straw Hat Crew. Not East Blue, unfortunately, because yeah. it is later Zora, but yeah, yeah. it's Straw Hat Crew. Straw Crew. It's Slash. Mm -hmm. uh, it removes a blocker when it's attacking in theory, yeah. right? So, and it, it can remove Sabo yeah. on block. It's yeah, six it or less. Yeah. So it's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah, I like it. This is like probably my cards on the deck. Not this one, sorry. The Zoro. The Elven True Bluefin uh, is not. What is this even a reference to? This is just something that like know, is something that like blue? Sanji cooks. I feel like it is, and I forgot it. I don't know. Uh, or I it's mean, like something he bought at a market. And this I is mean, like how could you not remember Elven True <laughs> Bluefin? You not, how can you not how remember you? a trunk like oh this? Oh, God, that didn't work a lot. No. A trunk like that, lips like those. Oh. It's, if it was Slash, I could see in this deck. It's not even Slash. It's Strike. So. So it beats Buggy. Uh, here's the Sanji related SR. We have a Porygon Banka, uh, special. Mm -hmm. He's buggy. 4,000 yeah. over three. So He's both buggy. the SRs are 4,000 over three with utility. Nice theme here. It is both Impel Down and Revolutionary Army. So really good traits. Yep. And it's in the color that they already exist in. So, uh, not Rev Army. It, it will, but it, but it doesn't yet. Impel mm -hmm. Down though. On play, reveal one card for the top of your deck and play up to one character card, but it costs a two. Mm -hmm. Then place the rest at the top or bottom of your deck. So you get to put a card that you're gonna maybe bounce in the play. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of those ones where it's like, I guess this technically 
abuses our rice ball girl, All but right. if it if it didn't pay to on play, but yeah, I think it deserves to be better than that because the four, like card progression in this game is just so the power creep so yeah. high right now. Yeah. Uh, when attacking once per turn, draw one card if you have six or less cards in your hand. That's just value. Yeah. You just swing on this for no damage and draw a card. Like yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Sanji's here. It's three K for two with strike kills buggy. Uh, Dawn one when attacking if you have five or less cards in your hand gets two K till the start of your next turn. So mm -hmm. it, it's a full boost. It attack and just for the one it attacks for six yeah. and then as a five to swing back on mm -hmm. there's so many and... sanji cards that do this right there's so many sanji cards that are like he's a 3k but he could be a, he could be a five yeah but this is like the worst one right this, like this the worst the yellow one like when the yeah. yellow one is your litmus test like yeah like one this... game one is a 4k it's not a 3k mm -hmm. it gets rush yeah one one becomes a becomes a 7k with no dawn investment yeah this becomes and a he, 6k at... and the other one manipulates life oh yeah yeah so yeah this, I feel like this is just the worst one. A 6k at like a do, like a hand can If it was Slash, bad. which obviously it's Sanji. I, I don't mm -hmm. yell at me in the comments. I know it's Sanji. You can't yeah. be Slash, right? Yeah, yeah. But if this was like Slash and I could see myself going like, okay, I'm going to play Mihawk. I'm going to play the Sanji. Mm -hmm. And then I'm setting up good, two good attackers because right. of this effect. Sure. That'd be fine. It's just so much setup. And then, yeah. Yeah, you have the, the card hand thing. is. I feel like this deck like just in reality runs almost all green cards and mm -hmm. then like some blue removal then maybe like a Mihawk or something. Yeah. You know, right? Like, Unfortunately, we remove all the Sanjis in the Sanji Zora deck. Yeah. <laughs> As God intended. Uh, I'm not of, here for these wars. Speaking of God's intention, it's yeah, pudding time. I love pudding. Pudding time. Charlotte Pudding is a 2k for 2 with 2,000. It does beat Buggy because she's wisdom. Uh, actively return this character to its owner's hand. Why? So you're just supposed to like what? play Ivankov, play this for free, and then be like, oops, it's a 2k. I want to put it back in my hand. Well, I mean, kind of, because you search out the 2k, right? So you search out the 2k, it. and yeah. you play it, and then you bring it back. But like, that just so seems then, so niche. Right. I don't think we're actually playing a Bonkov. Like, if you're trying to play a serious Zoro Sanji mm -hmm. deck, I just don't think we're playing the Ivankov in the first place. Right. Okay. Right? Yeah. So I'm just like, this card only exists for the Ivankov. That's so funny. It's Big Mom Pirates traded in a color Big Mom Pirates doesn't exist in. Yeah, yeah. Maybe with the next stuff, right? We assume they're mostly going purple, mm -hmm. but it could be, it could be like, it could be purple, purple or whatever. Yeah, but it could like, follow the Kaido like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I just think this is just so awkward. Like, it what you act like the game actually good. expects me to play it, attack with it. Like for value, and then return it to my hand, like put Dawn on it, because I can already do that with my leader. Yeah. Like it's, it's, I don't as know. As if like setup, like the setup alone, like as if it doesn't invite like a fire fist, right? Like, <laughs> right. I mean, like, exactly. Or, or yeah, or just like a Vista coming back. Yeah. I think you play him right now, like a, a yeah. five drop Marco. I mean, it's Anything. already a Luchi target. Good like, dot too. Yeah, uh, Absalom. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. she's already dressed for the wedding. It's Absalom. Be really it's happy Absalom. to keep it on board. Oh my yeah. God. Uh, next up, oh, dude, let oh, the cooks dude. cook, baby. Oh, uh, you're telling me I shrimp fried this rice? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's a man, look at dude. The, look at the prawns oh, on this, dude. Oh, God, dude, uh, big meaty claws. <laughs> big meaty claws. <laughs> uh, 5,000 for five with strike kills buggy in a counter. On uh -huh. play, look at the top three cards of your deck and place them on the top or bottom of your deck in any order. When attacking, you reveal one card from the top of your deck and play one character when it costs a two, it costs a two rested. Then place the rest on the top or bottom of your deck. This is like this is pretty good, right? So you, yeah. it, it comes into play as a three, the three reveal Dofi, uh -huh. uh, and then you set up to like play a two. I just like again, at least with like what the deck's giving you. I'm sure there's twos out there that are like pretty good value just to roll. Mm -hmm. um, now you said the fact they have to be two is like really niche, mm -hmm. and a lot of the twos in this deck don't do anything without investment. And what you're looking for with cards like this is that you're getting them without having to do anything else, especially because you want to roll an effect mm -hmm. to do in combat, right? So the best thing you can do right now that we've seen is Rice Ball Girl because yeah. it's on play trigger. You can pay more two and the rest something, yeah. right? So they can't block the attack. Yeah. This is so far, no spoilers for us. But, but, but the, the bros, the broskies on two, they have to attack. Yeah. So yeah. no spoilers for what? I mean, like, if all the other people know, like, what the other two costs are. Oh, yeah. I, I totally forgot everything in this deck before doing this video. So yeah, 100%. I'm basically blind at this point. Yeah. Uh, Duval hey, is a two drop blocker. Two drop blocker. Yeah, with strike. Huh. Uh, but he comes in rested off zap, so oh. he comes to play. Looks at three again. No. I think that I think having a two drop blocker uh, that looks at three is good. Uh, right now the the biggest one's three, mm -hmm. so putting it to two. The problem is that traded. I guess like Don Quixote is still playing this card though, just for like the the curve consideration. Yeah, I, yeah. I think maybe there's just so many good cards coming out. That it won't matter. Yeah. Um, I feel like you could put this in uh, Doflamingo. I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah, but it's fine. I, I like that. There's a listen. End of the day, there's now a 2K, or sorry, there's a two drop blocker that mm -hmm. does the three drop blocker don't be stuff. Yeah. I think that's a good upgrade. That's really so cool. I'll take it. Yeah. This is one of like the better cards 
that I like out of all the cards that are in this deck, I think most of the good ones are obviously good. Mm -hmm. This is the best one that's not obvious. Yeah, I think so far. I almost forgot who Duval was. Uh, Patty and Carne, uh, oh, Vanilla Duels. Cool, we're there. All right. Uh, this card I think is very interesting. This is Lion Strike, a two cost. This is one of the few cards in the game that's main slash counter. Mm -hmm. Rest of the one of your opponent's leader or character cards, it costs a four or less. Trigger, activate the main. So it doesn't matter where you get it. If it's in your life, if it's in your hand, or it's in your hand, whether it's your turn or your opponent's turn, you can play this card for two to rest a character or a leader. Mm -hmm. And I think this card, because it's Stroll Hat Crew Traded, has super long-term stocks in it. I agree, yeah. Like, this this is just Stroll, Stroll Server better. Mm -hmm. It's just not super number traded. Yep. Because unfortunately, he, he's this is old Zoro, because we yeah. banana, 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 good. Yeah. Um, so we can't search off Bonnie. That's yeah, the only yeah. problem, right? He, so, cut, he cut it, he cut the guy. He cut the guy real good. He cut good. that guy real good. This, this, is, this is one of those cards, I think this goes in the obvious category yeah. how good this is. I think this is like the best card that is in Mihawk in this mm -hmm. deck. Unless it's something I'm forgetting. Which I forgot most of it. So yeah. I literally thought this was in OPO6. And we're doing the 06 review after this. Yeah. And I was waiting to talk about it then. And I'm yeah. like, oh, here it is. Yeah. Yep. I will not miss the, the idea of having to deal with this at pre release though. So. Uh, uh, I, oh I read this name. What the hell? And my brain just farted. So this is the one he kicks Duval to fix his face. Uh, uh, it's a one drop uh, event counter up to one of your leader character cards. Gain 2,000 power during this mm -hmm. battle. Reveal one card at the top of your deck. Play up to one character when it costs a two and place the rest on the bottom of your deck. Again, it's Straw Hat traded, it's blue. Uh, again, it's the fact that it has to be twos. If all these cards are two or less, if I can just flip a Kaya and then loot two even off of this, at minimum, I was about to say, so this, good. this might be good in like uh, Nami. Maybe. Yeah, this Maybe. card this card this card could definitely see Nami play depending on how you yeah. chain your plays. Yeah. Uh, the fact is like the one of the two like drops. Spot in Nami. Up first and then you well, like... what are the two drops in Nami though? It's only, right? So you had to play Kaya like and Ipis. Yeah, no, Kai is mean, one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm thinking about like I was all, like, what? Yeah. all the drops. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, then the next one is like uh, maybe buggies. That's maybe Dazbone. Do, do, it's yeah, Dazbone. 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 You had to play Dazbone. You don't yeah. have to play Buggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, um, yeah this card just seems like yeah, super mid because not, of that. Yeah. But again, this is this is kind of like the Green Zora where you where if you tell me this card's seeing a lot of play in like a year from now, I'm not surprised just because it's a blue straw hat one one drop. And that's it. That's it for that I, Again, the takeaways here, the leader is very cool and offers really good angles. Yeah. I think the stuff it's trying to do those angles with um, in this deck are unfortunately not great. Again, I want to clarify just because I feel like I might have mistaken this in the way I talk. You don't have to have a Slash character to restand this one. Mm -hmm. I've talked about Slash a lot because some of the best things are revolving around the Slash stuff mm -hmm. with Mihawk and stuff. Yeah. And outside of this starter deck, there's a lot of other decks and things that care about Slash, mm -hmm. also things that you don't want carry about slash like buggy that unfortunately mm -hmm. do yeah um it's like one of the best attributes if you're looking at like building attribute synergy right yeah. and so what we get out of this is that like there's a lot of cards in here that don't play as well with the expanded pool you can restand a blue luffy impel down and then double double attack double bounce you can discard four cards but mm -hmm. you, you can technically do that right yeah um but the slash cards are like the most important cards i think the biggest takeaways again in this deck are the Mihawk, Mihawk and, and uh, the Zoro vet because yeah. Zoro's just goaded, evidently. Yeah. Um, th this card, I think, like, Mihawk's immediately good. Mm -hmm. I think this card is, like, interaction warping. Yeah. Like, once we hopefully correct the, the black ship, yeah. I think this card is wild. 100%. 100%. Any other, any other last thoughts from you? No, uh, my only thought was, like, I wish there were... Because I'm a Sanji stan. So I wish there were better Sanji cards. I don't know. Yeah. Like, all the best cards from this come from Zoro. I have no other thoughts out of this other than, like, I mean, I, uh, one day oh, I we're going to gonna see something about Is that. Is the Sanji player. even East Blue? Yeah. So the Sanji Zoro aren't East Blue It's traded. not even East Blue. So, like, so. you can't even, like, play, like, Nami yeah. from East Blue and search him. Yeah. Which is fine because it's tending to be Arlong stuff with her. Mm -hmm. But, like, Blue doesn't have, like, Straw Hat synergy. Yeah, mm -hmm. Straw Hats that existed in other things. Yeah. Green kind of does, but it's mostly film. Yeah. And so they're just out of place because of that. And so, are there any blue cards in here you think you would put in that blue straw hat deck? Sorry, say it again. You know that uh, any blue like would you put any blue cards from this deck into that blue leader? Uh, the East straw Blue hat? one, the yeah. one that draws cards. Yes. Oh, that's a hard question. I don't even think um, so. That's the thing. No, I, that's the thing. Like, like green, you get two very clear takeaway cards that yeah. are great in green, regardless of this deck. Yeah. Not. And not only are, I think, the blue cards the worst part of playing what this leader is trying to do, mm -hmm. 
it's also the worst part of anything else we're trying to do in this game. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Like, again, like, this Zoro, you tell me this is good a year later, I'm not surprised. Yeah. I think this card's way better, way yep. more immediately. Yep. Uh, this Sanji, though, I don't believe that. I believe yeah, the that... event could be. Yeah. Because it's, like, a cool value event, right? Yeah. Uh, but it doesn't have trigger also. Yeah, that Sanji so, though, is trying to do something that I just don't agree with. I don't know. Like, it's just not... Sanji's always doing some stuff I don't agree with. I mean, if we're being well, honest... I mean, yeah. Is... You saw what he did first when he got the rage suit, okay? He got that rage suit and he was like, nothing else. Anyway, guys, if you want to see our opinions on OPO6 or any other videos, you can go check it out on the channel. Make sure to hit subscribe and let us know your thoughts on the Zoro and Sanji deck yep. below, especially for Rolling, because, you know, rage comments are still interaction, and we will take them. Yep. And uh, don't be Sanji with the raid suit. Uh, try and like and subscribe us. Follow us, please. And let us know.